right, so this is the Constant Velocity Lab, and I'm going to clarify a couple things uh, for these three different parts. So part one, you're taking your car and you're putting it on the reference point. So I've put a piece of tape down and this is my, this is zero centimeters, right? So right now my car is sitting on the reference point. It is zero centimeters away from the reference point, okay? So the reference point is just that. It's not, um, it's what you measure everything from, right? So when I say I traveled 60 miles today, that doesn't mean a whole lot unless you know one, what direction I've traveled, or two, where I started from. So that's, that's the kind of the definition of a reference point, is you're telling everyone this is where I'm measuring from. And it also kind of helps you define those directions. So if I travel in this direction, um, this direction happens to be west, so this would typically be the negative direction, and this would be east, this would be the positive direction. But it doesn't matter. We can say that this is the positive and this is the negative. It's however you define it. But once you define it as that, it has to stay the same the whole time. So all three parts, here's our reference point, this is positive, this is negative. Okay, you just have to be consistent the whole time. So if I say my car is right here on the reference point, my position is zero centimeters because it's zero centimeters away from the reference point. Now one big question is, where do you measure your car? If you think about that, the car itself, the front of the car is zero centimeters away, but the back of the car is about eight centimeters away on the negative side. So is it negative eight centimeters as a position or is it zero centimeters as a position? What if you're measure measuring the person in the car? <laughs> is it four centimeters on the negative side? That's what you have to define. So if I say I'm measuring the front of the car, that's at zero centimeters. The thing to keep in mind is every time you measure the car, you want it to be from the front. If you want it to be from the back, that's fine, but every time you have to measure it from the back. So when you're marking your positions, if you say the front of the car is at zero centimeters right now, every front of the car is what you're gonna measure, okay? So we're gonna start our car. The first one just says to go. It doesn't actually tell you which way to go, but we're gonna go in the positive direction. So let's just say the car goes here after one second. You're going to measure this distance. Look at this. You're going to measure this distance to the reference point. After two seconds, it's here. You're going to measure to the reference point. So every time you're measuring the position of the car with respect to the reference point. So you're measuring back towards the reference point every single time. Okay, that's part one. Now part two says start not at the reference point. Now you can go in this direction, you can go in this direction, doesn't matter. But we're gonna start here. So at time zero, we're not at zero centimeters anymore. We're some distance away from our reference point. But we're not gonna measure that at time zero, we're, going to, and we're only gonna measure it from, from um, time one. So we're gonna start our car, move it one second, move it another second, move it another second, or maybe we're gonna turn it and go this way. You can do that as well. So if we go this way, let's kind of look at how we would mark this. After one second, let's say it's here. How far away is it from the reference point? Not how far did it travel, how far is it from the reference point? Uh, this is maybe five centimeters. So we would record this as a positive five centimeters. Now what about another second? If we end up over here, okay? Still measuring from the reference point, this is maybe 10 centimeters, but it's on the negative direction. So this is gonna be recorded as a negative displacement. So what we have is a positive five, negative 10. Negative something, negative something, negative something. So if we are on this side of the reference point, we record it as a negative displacement. If we are on this side of the reference point, we record it as a positive displacement, all right? It doesn't matter, you can start, um, you're starting in the positive side, you can go this way or this way, doesn't matter. Same thing with part three. We're gonna start over here. So if we go this way, we were to record everything as negative. If we go this way, some of them might be negative, some of them might be positive. So you just have to also pay attention to which side of that reference point that you're on. The key thing is always measure it from the reference point. Now when you graph these, you can graph them each as an individual graph. So part one, part two, part three can be its own graph. 
or you can put all three lines on the same graph. And in order to do that, um, I believe it's the circle lab. If you go back to the circle lab, there's some instructions on how to get Logger Pro to show three different lines. All right. So it's up to you on a lot of things. Um, first one is starting at zero at the reference point. One is starting here, one is starting here. Directions are not important. Just make sure you keep track of which side of the reference point you are on.